Hello everyone, today I have a very interesting tool to show you and this is not a regular car air pump this is a rechargeable and portable air pump and it has a built-in uh, battery uh, there's no uh, uh, details on the box uh, rather than uh, this here which has this sticker so you get some battery capacity, discharge time and power 120 something watts voltage 12 point something volts so let's skip that and go right inside the box let's see what we get so we are greeted by the manual and we have the specifications here you can pause the video if you want to 120 watts that's uh, rather good for an uh, air compressor and uh, input voltage 220 volts it's totally wrong charging time three hours that may be accurate it will work for around 30 minutes and we have that battery capacity and it shows us some basic instructions how to power it on how to connect things that's okay for an air pump it's a sufficient manual so we have this nice hose adapter hose two uh, o-rings there uh, looks pretty good uh, pretty well made a metal insert so this should be rather durable usual accessories for uh, filling up different things such as uh, um, football uh, and uh, inflatable uh, ac beach accessories and stuff like that and this is weird this is the charger and uh, this thing actually charges on a usb port so you can charge this almost anywhere it's good and also bad bad because probably it takes a lot of time to charge this monster up uh, all right so let's take a closer look at this it has a display we can set the pressure probably and we have this lock key which actually locks the button so you cannot turn on the pump has LEDs there and the hose will just go there and lock into position and it's now airtight so let's power this on if I press this button here it will show the current pressure and by cycling this button you can switch to various measurements such as kilopascals kilograms per square centimeter uh, psi and so on and you can choose your desired measuring unit and from plus and minus you can set the desired pressure that you want the compressor to actually stop filling up your tires and now let's uh, put this uh, into action so you can also use this as a measurement tool not only as an inflator so if you are going to connect the hose to the unit and i'm going to connect that to it so it shows zero and as soon as the pressure is stabilized i can actually read the current pressure and i can also use the top button to convert the pressure to known formats for me and now i'm going to deflate the tire because I want to do a fill up test so I'm going to release the air from it that should be sufficient and now I'm going to connect the inflator to the tire and I'm going to power it on. I'm going to select my desired pressure, PSI 55, and now I'm going to start it. I need to unlock it first. It's unlocked now, and let's see how fast it goes.
it stopped right away at 55 point something and now the pressure has stabilized and it's 54 so it's rather accurate and if I want to start it again it will just pump a bit and then stop and now it's again at exactly 55 as I have set it up so it works really nice it will stop right away when it reaches the desired pressure which is a good thing uh, sadly I don't have my other pressure gouges available right now to compare it with some others to see if this measurement is accurate or not but uh, hopefully it will be in uh, the range that is normal for such kind of device so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, small test uh, if you want to find more about this product or want to see the current pricing I have included the link for this in uh, the video information and maybe I will add some comment about it also and if you have any kind of questions about it or want to ask me something leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as fast as possible and as best as possible so until my next uh, upload see you and bye bye